In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to animate this abstract background loop. Hi, my name is Manuel. We use a simple line and combine it with a bunch of standard effects, plus lots of tips and tricks along the way, so better stick around. Alright, time to dive in. I already created a new comp, named Lines Graphic. We grab the pen tool and draw a horizontal line, press shift while drawing from left to right. No fill, color Y. We set the stroke width to 100 pixels. Let's name it Lines. Then we open the Contents property and add a repeater. Open it and set copies to 9. I figured out the numbers before. Then we open the Transform property and set the position to X 50 and Y 120 pixels. Then we open the Stroke property and add dashes by clicking on that plus. Set the dash value to 450, click on the plus again and change the gap value to 40. Alright. Next we select the path and position it on the screen so that the screen is completely filled. Move the points further to the left and right. Next we add a white solid, Command Y. Name it Texture and we make it bigger than the actual composition. 2500 by 2500 pixels, color white and move it below the lines layer. Then we add fractal noise. We hide the lines layer for now to see what's happening. Fractal type basic, noise type block, contrast 60. We use the lines layer to cut out the texture, so we use it as luma mat for the texture solid. Alright, now we open the transform settings, deselect uniform scaling and try to fit one row of blocks onto one line. Let's reduce the complexity to one. We scale the blocks and move the solid to make it fit. That's why we made the solid bigger than the comp, by the way. Now we animate the evolution. Set a keyframe at the beginning, then we open the Evolution Options property and select Cycle Evolution to make it loop. Oh? You might wonder why don't we use Turbulent Noise? Turbulent Noise isn't loopable. That's the reason. Besides that, the two effects are pretty similar. Then we go to the end and set the evolution to 1 or 360 degrees and move the keyframe one frame further to the right, which makes it a perfect loop. Awesome. Then we add Tritone to add some color. Turn the highlights into a bright yellow, midtones some kind of pink, shadows a dark blue. Let's actually brighten the midtones up a little bit. And let's add more contrast to make the colors shine. We select the comp in the project window and drag it onto the comp symbol to add it to a new comp. We name the new comp background. Let's add effects to the lines graphic layer. First up, the one and only warp effect. Warp style, fish. You should play around with all the other options as well, by the way, crazy stuff. Axis, horizontal, bent, 25, horizontal distortion, 16. Then we add CC lens to distort the corners even more. Set the size to 170, convergence to 60. Then we add Gaussian blur. Set the blurriness to 10. But we want it to be blurry only on this right part here. So we grab the ellipse tool and add around mask in this area. Press M until the mask property is open and set the mask feather to around 150 pixels. Right now it affects the whole layer. We only want it to have an effect on Gaussian blur. So we open the Gaussian blur settings and click on that plus right next to composition options, which adds a mask reference to our mask. That option saves a lot of extra layers. Let's animate. We add a keyframe for bend, horizontal distortion, convergence by clicking on these stopwatches. Then press U to see the keyframes in the timeline. We go to 60 frames and set Bend to 15, Horizontal Distortion to 0, Convergence to around 30. Then go to the end and copy and paste the keyframes from the beginning. And add Easy Ease to all of them. Don't forget to move these last keyframes one frame further to the right to make it a perfect loop. We need to animate the stroke in the Lines graphic comp still. We go in there and set an offset keyframe at the beginning. Then we go to the end and move the offset until a dash at the right top corner is in the same position again. 
with the values I used, it's 980. Jumping to the beginning and end to check, awesome. Then we move the keyframe one frame to the right. We go back to the background comp. Awesome, it's looping. We add a new solid, Command Y, name it background, make it comp size this time, move it down and add a four color gradient. Brighter colors on the left side, darker colors on the right blurry side. We add another solid, name it light, color a bright yellow. Choose the ellipse tool and add a round mask. Set the mask feather to 400 pixels and the blend mode to overlay, which brightens up this left part. We duplicate the solid, move the mask to the right side and open the solid settings shift command Y and change the color into a dark purple. Nice. One last thing, let's add text. We duplicate the lines graphic comp and name it lines text. Open the comp, go into the strokes settings and delete the dashes and gaps. Then we select the texture and reduce the fractal noise contrast to around 60 and darken it to make the text readable. With no layer selected, we grab the text tool. I use Lowres 9 OT, which is an Adobe font. Size 125 pixels. You can use any font, of course. And add some text. Keep it short, as we want to loop it. We position it on one of the lines and copy and paste the content a few times. Then we choose a position, which is easy to recognize. In my case, the left corner of the B hits the left corner of the screen. Set a position keyframe. Then we go to the end and move the text to the left until the left corner of a B, in my case, is at the same position. Then we move the keyframe one frame further to the left. We go back into our background composition and replace the lines graphic comp by selecting the actual comp and holding option while dragging the new comp onto the comp we want to replace. Finally, we reduce the opacity of our text layer to 75% to make the text blend in better with the background. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like, so see you there in a second. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and hit the bell to get notified when my next video is coming up. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!